Ah, there you are. Took you long enough. Ah, it's... it's nothing. I just find it somewhat amusing. You know? A shepherd that comes by call feels something more like a sheepdog than anything else. Perhaps I should consider shifting your nickname. It's almost amusing how obedient you can be. Not obedient like a servant, but... something else is there. It's like I don't expect you to come when I call. And then you do anyway. It's... Probably because you fear the consequences of what will happen if you don't. Mother Mina is merely one of a myriad of those who have suffered for the high crime of subverting my reign. Perhaps you are merely trying to prove that there's more up there than wool. So, I assume you must be wondering why I brought you here. Dear Shepherd, it matters not my fondness for you. Your dancing skills are abysmal. The last ball did nothing but prove it so. I'm sure you could understand the problem I have with that. Yes? Balls, galas, parties of this sort are the only time in which we'll mutually debut into society. Together, as a unit. We must think as one and act as one if we are ever going to survive within it. If we mess up separately at tea parties and court sessions or things of the ilk, the faux pas are based on our upbringings and histories that are understood. Not forgiven. Never forgiven. But understood. When you grab the wrong fork or I act particularly uncouth, they take it for what it is. The commoner and the freak, as it were. But the ball. The ball. Balls are different. We met at a ball. Even if any dancing we did was limited by the status of our mutual hierarchies, the act of us doing so together is supposed to communicate our synchrony and our love. The ability to step in time as if we were one. The ability to lose ourselves until not even we are really present anymore. Just the idea of us is present. I might have been raised to royal pain, but I know that commoners like you rarely care for our affairs. But they care this time. They care that their sole leader is a queen in a land ruled by kings. They care that their leader is a cruel queen that crawled her way back after the lost war. And they care that the cruel queen arbitrarily plucked one of their own out of a crowd to rule alongside her. An ascension that mirrors the four themselves. The ball is the only vessel we have to demonstrating that this gambit that would otherwise be seen as a fool's errand if one of the parties pulling it didn't have a body count in the hundreds is paying off. And the best way to do that is to waltz. Is that enough of an explanation for you? I hate to be the one forced to tell you this, but there's truly no difference between the life of a battle-hardened general and that of a member of the Corps when it comes to the games of strategy that are played. Planning troop locations based on the trajectory of the route of the invading armies is no different than researching the lineage of the Corps in the name of good conversation. The battlefield begins in the mind, and if you're truly good at what you do, it can end there just as quickly. The only difference is that, in one, you wither and die in the social sense of the word, and the others, you just die. And the cannons crack and cry, and the bullets whistle and sing, and the air reeks of smoke. And I wish I were there, with death at my heels. Less so these days, but still. Now, concerning the dancing itself, I have a suggestion. A suggestion that makes me want to split my tongue in two for even thinking of suggesting it, but also resent myself for considering it such a burdensome suggestion to begin with. But a suggestion... 
Nonetheless, I think you should lead. You're learning, clearly and obviously learning. Guiding you and expecting you to follow along was a fool's errand when I move as... Well, the nice way to put it is liltingly. But when I move as liltingly as I do, it will be easier for you if you merely have to focus on a simple box step instead of where your feet are in relation to mine. That will become my concern. Besides, I was trained to follow anyhow. And it all goes back to the games of the mind in regards to it all. Indicating a layer of submission to my persona should aid in removing the more unseemly elements of my image. The idea that the one thing quelling my tyrannical reign is the love I hold for another is an undoubtedly endearing image. Especially considering that it's you, dear Shepherd. Just yet another way to declaw my potentially potent image. Hmm. Bold question to ask there. Hmm. Bold question to ask there. If I am to call the kettle black, especially considering I'd otherwise be calling it a kettle of fish. If I were doing a good job as queen, would I truly have to worry about my image at all? If I were performing my duties as a queen should, in the ways that a queen should, should I really be worried about how I'm perceived? Oh... You live in a simpler world than I do, dear Shepherd. I do anything to make it all go away as I lay my head back and dream into the quiet of the countryside. The only difference is that you have the experience to be able to do so. The populace is a fickle breed. It's human nature to notice only when things are wrong rather than when everything is functioning smoothly, when the pus run infection is much more common than death. No matter what I do, as long as I am me, and I am capable of being blamed. I will be, and I wouldn't have to do a thing at all. So, I live in allegory, an effigy, in symbolism and metaphor. It might be the royal blue blood within me that makes me commit these acts, these shadow puppet shows of silhouette and intention. These the same people who created the concept of swaths of land where only grass grows, yet possess no livestock to feed upon it, who in the same breath would starve if forced to tend to it. I'm speaking from experience on that last count. The first year was hard, and especially without help. I probably wouldn't have even taken it if offered in all fairness. It's... Not like I was worthy of it. Now, let's get started. Place one hand on my shoulder and the other on my hip. Ah, right. <clears throat> let's begin with your posture. 